So a while ago we talked about several mods that will never come to Roblox Funky Friday, yet the developers ended up adding sure some that? of them in no problem. <clears throat> Thanks guys. But today we're going to be going over several popular mods that I know for sure will never come to Funky Friday. So smack that like and subscribe if you agree with this list and comment down below what you think about it as well. Grab your popcorn and let's get right into it. Number 1 versus Stair Crown. Well, this is definitely a blast to the past, huh? Hmm. How many of you guys actually remember this mod? Stair Crown is a dimensional anomaly and is apparently the boyfriend's absolute number one fan. Despite his monstrous appearance, Stair Crown is actually a very kind and gentle soul who would never want to harm anyone to come upon the boyfriend. Apart from his unusual look, the mod gets creepier as you continue to play, which is not only frightening to the younger audiences, but can cause some pretty crazy nightmares as well. When Stair Crown first came out almost 7 months ago, a lot of people wanted the mod to come to Funky Friday, but initially in the song Stair, the boyfriend starts with a 2 minute long solo. That's right. The player on the right side actually plays the majority of the song while the other player is blessed with spam. And not the food spam, we're talking about actual note spam. Pretty crazy logic right there. Most of the other songs does include some rather unfair chartings that aren't really balanced for multiplayer gameplay such as Funky Friday. But look at this part during body inversion. How is anyone supposed to hit all those notes in succession? It's absolutely crazy. Now if Funky Friday wanted to add in Stair Crown, they would have done it ages ago. But the fact that it's been half a year and they haven't had any plans to do so pretty much confirms that Stair Crown would never come to Funky Friday. The only way they would be able to add it in is if they made the songs more balanced for Funky Friday's multiplayer mechanics and also cut back on the spam as well. That would be a couple front projects for the charters to work on. Number 2, Five Nights at Treasure Island. Definitely a newer mod on this entry, and one that we've played on stream a while back is the FNF vs Five Nights at Treasure Island mod. This one is not your standard FNF mod, and it incorporates gameplay mechanics from Five Nights at Freddy's and Mickey Mouse's Horror together into one unique spin-off. You don't rap battle against another player, it is a solo effort as you try to last the night with nothing but a battery powered camera, a light bulb, and a security camera. While the gameplay mechanics were cool in the mod, it would be hard for developers to be able to replicate this game style into Roblox, especially with all the jump scares that happen when you get caught by the silhouettes. Even if they did add this mod into Funky Friday, it would be a slow paced solo that wouldn't be too fun to play without all the gimmicks being added in the first place, which in turn ruins the sole nature of the creation. Unless Funky Friday finds a way to incorporate these cool features into their game, it's safe to say that the Five Nights at Treasure Island mod will never come to Funky Friday. Number 3 versus Speedrunner Mario. Another very new and popular mod that came out within two weeks ago is the versus Speedrunner Mario mod where you go up against a cartoon version of Mario in various worlds around the Mushroom Kingdom. The whole mood of the mod is to instill a quick sense of urgency throughout the mod due to the speedrun vibes that the game gives off. Not going to lie, some of the songs and the animations are actually top notch and I'm not surprised how this mod exploded so quickly. Now the mod does feature a ton of songs, but also a couple things that I'm pretty sure Nintendo is not a big fan of and is ultimately why it would never come to Funky Friday. The mere appearance of Mario in the mod is not a big deal and Funky Friday could actually get around that by renaming the mod to simply Speedrun. We've seen them do this in the past with several other mods, but it goes even deeper than that. A lot of the songs from the mod contain sound effects from various Mario games licensed by Nintendo. And unless if you are living under a rock these past couple years, then you already know how strict Nintendo is when it comes to using their content 
even when it comes to fan-made projects or Flash games. R.I.P. Super Mario Flash, my childhood! In that case, if Funky Friday really wants to add Versus Speedrunner into the game, the mod would have to go through extensive music and sound changes, which would, once again, ruin the experience of the mod. So, it's pretty much safe to say that Versus Speedrunner Mario will never be coming to Funky Friday anytime soon. And yes, this does correlate with a lot of other Mario-influenced mods that we've seen in the past as well, such as the Mario Kart mod, FNF vs Super Mario Bros Funk Mix vs Mario Rebooted Full Week, you pretty much get the idea. Number 4 vs Nico Freak Ah uh, yes, another mod from the glorious days of Friday Night Funkin'. This time, we're talking about the vs Nico Freak mod created by Hamelin. This mod features unused characters that were found within the Mommy Mirrorist game files in the original game and apparently takes place a month before the boyfriend met the girlfriend. The mod was released nearly half a year ago with great appraise and a lot of people enjoyed playing the mod and also wanted to get it added to Funky Friday at the same time. I'm not even kidding. The mod suggestions channel and the Discord server got flooded with Nico Freak requests, but I am here to disappoint those of you who did want to see Nico come into Funky Friday. Now, the mod wasn't really edgy or inappropriate in any way, and it did introduce some really cool characters such as Mia and Kia, but for some unknown reason, the character of the mod denied having the mod get added to Funky Friday. We can see Vernersi state, don't ask for Nico Freak. The reason for Nico Freak is due to the creators rejecting Funky Friday in the past, and they want to respect their opinion. I was able to find another user stating the same thing just a couple days ago as well, stating that the creators don't want their mod added into Funky Friday if they remember correctly. Now, I'm not 100% sure why Hamelin denied Funky Friday's request to add the mod into the game. It could be due to personal reasons, but that pretty much confirms that Burst Nico Freak is never coming to Funky Friday unless the creators change their mind once again. We do have some honorable mentions of other mods that won't be able to come into Funky Friday as well. Some due to dramas that they were involved in at the time, such as X Event, and also some that were rather interesting to say the least. Yeah, I'm heavily censoring this one. But those are four mods that are never coming to Roblox Funky Friday. Which mods do you think will never get added into the game and do you agree with our list? Comment down below and let's talk about it. Smash that like and subscribe or else your favorite mod will never get added. And go cop some merch over at CaptainJackAttack.shop. We'll see you guys on the next one.